Okay, so let's change the port. So the way you do that is you add a parameter to the run method of the app object. So we're just going to start this on port 8000. And uh, now let's start working on the main menu. Actually, before I do that, you can associate multiple routes with the same view function simply by listing them. So I'm also going to have app.route index is common and also the default on like Apache and lots, some other web servers is index.html. So even though I don't actually have an index.html, it will go here. Um, and then we're going to do index.php and that's fine. Okay, so like any of those should work now. So let's go ahead and try it. Um, try a few of them. So I'm going to pop open my browser again. And this time I'm going to go to port 8000. And let's try index.html. And it does the same thing. So just to verify that it's actually doing something different. Something different. And then restart. And then if I reload, verify that it actually does work, and it does. Okay, so any of those things are now going to return the same content. They're all aliases for each other, essentially. Um, but what we really want here is um, some fully formatted HTML that includes um, lists of links that the user can click on for the basically menu functionality. Um, so um, what I'm going to want to do basically is offer all the same stuff more or less that I did for the console version. So this list here, um, I'm going to refer to that. Now, um, I found that having, there's enough of these choices here that having a couple of different levels is useful. So I like to organize these into groups of links. And there's a couple of different ways of organizing them. I think this time I'm going to organize it by functionality. So all the things having to do with print. So printing videos and playlists, and then um, that's going to be one group. And then creating videos and playlists, that'll be a group. And then updating, um, adding or removing a video from a playlist, and also updating the note um, will be in a group and then deleting videos and playlists. Um, and actually joining two playlists together will be a create as well. So we're going to do basically CRUD stuff. So, um, and then I could hard code all of that into HTML, but then if I change it later, which I probably will want to do, um, that will make my life harder because I have to change HTML. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to define a constant, a class constant called menu. And then I'm going to do this in data because data is easy to change and code is hard to change. And then it's going to be top level dictionary where I'm going to have sections. So the sections are going to be um, print. And then I'm going to have a list of choices. Actually, it's going to be a dictionary of choices. And then let's do create and a dictionary of choices. And then um, update. And then delete. Okay, so for print, um, what I'm going to have is the route and then a piece of text that actually shows up as the text for the link. So so first route is going to be, um, uh, let's see, let's do print. Actually, don't, I, I'm not going to use that slash there. I'm going to just do print videos. And that's going to be um, print 
a list of all videos. And then we'll have print playlists. Okay, and then for create, we're going to have create video. And we'll have create playlists. And then we'll have join playlists. And then for update, actually I'm missing a comma there. Um, and then for update, we're going to have, um, let's do update video note. And then we'll have um, add video to playlist. And we'll do remove video from playlist. And finally, we're going to um, actually, I think that might be it for this one. Here, let me take a look at the options again. Um, I think that's it, yeah. Um, okay. So let's go back here. Um, and then um, I want to print a video, print playlists. And then I'm also going to have one for, um, well, no, I'm not going to have that's fine for now. I was thinking I would want to have one for showing the contents of a playlist, but that's what they're going to be able to link to from this page. So if they view the list of playlists, they can click on a playlist and then it will show the contents of it. Um, and then so for delete, we just need to, I have delete video in mind. If you don't, if you haven't implemented that, it's fine. Don't include it. and then delete playlist. Okay, so there's some menu choices um, to get started with. And then the way I'm going to render this is instead of just returning a string, I'm going to return the results from calling something called render template. And then I give it the name of a file where the template lives. And this is going to be homepage.html. Um, and then um, let me sh first hook this up and then I'll come back to it. So first step is I need to import render template and that's in Flask as well. So I'm going to render template and I'm going to use some of this other stuff, but I'm going to add it as I need it um, so that I can talk about it. So render template looks up a template in the templates folder. So I'm going to make a new directory called templates. And then I can mark this as a Jinja 2 template folder for um, PyCharm so that PyCharm does the right syntax highlighting. And the way you do that is you right click on the folder and then mark directory as. Um, there should be template folder here. And then it's going to ask you to specify the language because there's a couple of different templating packages. Um, but the one that we want is Jinja 2. And then I'm going to go ahead. Actually, the template file type is... Any of these are fine to start with. Good. So now this is marked purple because it's a, now a templates folder. And then I'm going to right click there and make a new HTML file called homepage.html. And then um, when I create a new um, uh, home, uh, HTML file in PyCharm, it automatically gives me a, a skeleton. So this is going to be, um, what did I call that? I called it uh, music box. 
So this is the Music Box homepage. And then I'm going to have an H1 header. Um, please select an option below. And then I'm going to have, um, for now, I'm just going to hard code some stuff and then I'm going to actually do the right thing. So it's going to have an unordered list with a list item and then we'll do anchor href equals. And for now, I'm going to hard code the URL as well. Um, print videos. And then the text, print the list of videos. And then we'll do one more. Print playlists. And then if you don't know HTML and CSS, um, there are some references um, to W3 school tutorials in the lesson, um, but we're going to keep it really simple. This is about as complicated as the HTML bit is going to get, and we're going to use minimal style as well. Um, so you should be able to pick this up pretty quickly. Um, but let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so here's an HTML page, and right now it's all static HTML. And then back here in Web UI, the way this is going to work is when we hit this render template, it's going to fetch that content and then render it into final HTML by replacing any spots in the template that we have dynamic content in, and we will in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and run this now and then go to it in the browser and here's my menu so please select an option below and then if i click on this link you'll see it goes to slash print videos but i haven't defined that route yet so i just get a file not found and so on all right so let's go ahead and uh, make this template do something a little bit more interesting so i want to actually have it render all of these paths here and so the first thing I need to do is I need to get this menu into this thing that renders the template and into the template itself. So the way you can pass in a value is you can say um, like options equals web UI dot menu. So this is going to be a variable that's available inside the template when I render it. And it's going to be basically a dictionary of dictionaries. So inside here, I'm going to have options. And then this is basically going to be two lists. So I'm going to have um, an H2 here, which is going to be something like, uh, um, like uh, uh, what, was, what did I actually even call that? Hang on a sec. So print. So... This one here is going to be print, and then here are going to be my print statements, and then there's going to be another H2 for create um, with some more stuff under it and so on. Um, so that's basically going to be a loop, and you can actually write a loop using um, a Jinja template. So. Um, So in Jinja, you can define an island of Jinja code using curly bracket percent, and then you can have a command, and then curly bracket and percent curly bracket to close that off. And if I want to put a loop in here, the way you do that is I say for option in options, and then options is the variable that I passed in when I called render template, and it's going to be that menu. And then option is the index variable, just like in Python. So it's going to step over each option in options, which is going to be a dictionary. And actually, this is going to be the key. So um, this is going to be play, create, update, and delete. And so um, actually, I want to put that here because this is the bit I want to repeat. So 
if I want to refer to the value option here, what I can do is curly bracket, curly bracket, um, and then it's going to take whatever this code produces and embed it right here instead of those curly brackets. So if I want to show option here, I can just do that. So that will replace this whole thing with whatever that value is, and it should be play, create, update, and so on. Um, and then at the bottom here, I'm going to end my for loop. And then to end the loop, I make another island, and then inside I say end for. So this for loop here matches this end for, and then everything between those two things gets repeated. Um, and then when it hits that, it's going to replace it with each of these options. So let's go ahead and reload this now. I'm going to rerun this. And yeah, you have to rerun it every time you change the template because it gets cached in memory. Great. So print, create, update, delete. And now for each of these dictionaries, I'm going to loop through the choices in the dictionary. So here, um, I'm going to have another loop. And so this is going to be for item in option, actually options, square bracket option. So option is the key for the dictionary, and then the value is going to be another dictionary that I can loop through. So this item is actually going to be this route here. So we're going to end the for here. And it seems to want another level of indent, which I don't want. So this is going to be another N4 here. And then this thing is going to be item. And then this thing is going to be options, option, item. So let's go ahead and reload that. And then reload. Oh, and I, I forgot my curly brackets. So let me put my curly brackets in. OK. Um, so that was not quite right here. Yeah, um, it's options, option, and then item, like so. So this thing here returns a dictionary. And I'm going to simplify that. I just want to show you the simple or the uh, the full blown thing. So anyways, here's the links. And if you hover over the link, you can see like this is print videos, play print playlists. And this one's update video, node, add video, remove video from playlist. You can see the URLs are correct here. OK, so now this is a little bit complicated, but there's also a Jinja um, a Jinja um, command that I can use to simplify this. So um, the, the thing that's complicated is I'm still referring to option options here, um, which makes the code a little ugly. But what I can do is I can do a set here. So we're going to set, um, what is it? Uh, Call it option dict. And then here I can say for item and option dict. And then same thing here. So that cleans it up a little bit. I'm actually not happy about the naming at all, so let me think about that for a second. Um, I mean, it works. 
but because I get the same thing as I did before. So that works, but uh, I think it could be clearer. So let me think about what it is. So this choice is a group. So it's a it's a group of links. And then this is the key. So this is going to be um, option. Let's call that option group key in options. And I don't think refactor rename works here, unfortunately. So you want to just refactor rename. Actually, I think it, no, well, no, it doesn't like to rename there. Um, so for group key in options, we're going to print group key. And then um, this is going to be an option item. Yeah, option items, option dict. Yeah, option dict actually is correct here. And then this thing here is actually route. For route in option dict, we're going to do route and then option dict sub route. And actually, option dict here is like, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm not sure that this is actually that much clearer than what I had before, so maybe I should just cut my losses and move on. Yeah, okay. Anyways, the code works, and if you click on one of these, it will go to a route that isn't defined yet.